You know, people have asked me, you know, why I do what I do. And, you know, I'd love to actually help people. I love to see them grow, big part of that. And I love to present challenges. So when I educate people, whether it's in a classroom setting, whether it's a coaching seminars or, or any other kind of setting, it's about getting them to take actions, even beyond the, the classroom, even beyond that setting where I present at. Yes, they're going to have certain homework assignments and everything like that, but the most important is the actions that they take. You know, and I have this belief about mind and body, both work as a unit, you know, and we're really interconnected within this whole world. And I, I remember watching a spider web, and I would spend hours just watching the spider web as the spider would be like there in the center and things would fly on it, maybe a little tiny leaf would fly on it, and I would see an insect later, and I'd see how the spider would react. It would be connected to that spider web. In a sense, our mind and body is connected throughout our whole system, and we're connected outside the system all the way out. So when I educate people, that's a big part of that, is interconnecting. When we're interconnected with ourself, with our, within our system, our mind, and our body as a unit, then we spread it out. You know, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest areas, you know, is the, the smile. So when we smile, and we look at somebody else, you know, we have that kind of connection as an inner connection. So the educational process is getting people, taking action, getting interconnections. So what affects somebody else affects them and vice versa. And only through actions, what I discovered is where growth occurs. Yes, you're going to fall down everything like that. And I believe in making mistakes and learning from it. Don't be afraid of that. You know, we all go through those processes and everything like that in terms of making mistakes. You know, I just love to, to get out there and show the world and every single person, you know, like when I, when I educate, that kind of power that they have within themselves. You know, and, and it's not me doing it, you know, as my friend Dr. Lloyd Shemek has said so many times. You know, it's not me, it's you. So, and it's all about you. So, you know, and... You know, there, there's much more to it, but it's only just a piece, and come and learn. Thank you. Yeah, um, you know, the, the thing about self-confidence, you know, and I love to see people grow. Self-confidence is a very important part of that. So as people take actions, and one of the things I like to do in terms of my classes, or like when I educate people, or help them to become self-motivated, self-confidence is a very important part of that. And from my discoveries, when a person takes an action, when they're successful, or even like when they fail and they get back up and they take an action, till they become successful in it, they become self-confident in, in that area. And public speaking is, is, is one arena, and even like with myself, for a great part of my life, I, I've been a stutter, and I had a fear of speaking in public. It wasn't until I started speaking and forcing myself to get up there that I started developing confidence in terms of speaking. So what became a fear for me became a passion. Such a passion that you can't get me off of this stage. You ask me to go out and speak somewhere, I'm going to go do that. You know, and that's very important, self-confidence. So every assignment that, that I give and everything that I do, it's all based on helping a person reach a, a certain of, certain level of confidence within their own lives for them, for, for their self. So when you do it, you become confident. More times you do it, you become more and more confident, whether it's like me in, in, in public speaking or in whatever endeavor. And more recently, I've been, in, been doing parkour. And I had done a rail-to-rail -rail jump and I slammed 
face straight down in the ground because I, I made a mistake and broke my nose and everything like that. But it didn't stop me. So I kept doing it. I'm more confident now in doing it. And I love doing it. I love challenging myself like that, even, even at my age. So confidence can come late in life, can come early in life, in, in life. but it's more important about taking actions. So that's part of what I teach, instruct, is to help you develop more self-confidence in your own life. Thank you. You know, my dreams for every single person is that they, yes, become self-confident, motivated, and being a lifelong learner. I've always wanted to learn. I continue to learn myself, whether it's going back to uh, formal education, self-education, reading, whatever, whatever I do, and then applying in terms of what I do. And again, it's all about the application of any classes that anybody takes and anything you learn, when you apply it, it becomes you. Somebody may have said something, but when you apply it into your own life, it becomes yours. You own it. Just like I own everything that I've taken action on, not just what I read or, or what I studied or whatever class I went to, but taking action, you own it, becomes part of you, and that can never be taken away from you. So that's part of that process part of what I love doing what I'm doing and for every single person out there you know this is so much fun so much fun thank you